Hello guys, in this video, we will learn about the congestion control algorithm, their principles and the prevention policies. Uh, before that, let, let's see what is the congestion. Congestion is an important issue that can arise in a packet switch network. Uh, congestion is a situation in a communication network in which too many packets are present in a part of the subnet. Congestion in a network may occur when the load on the network is greater than the capacity of the network. It means that the number of the packets sent to the network is greater than the number of the packets in the network can handle. In other words, when too much traffic is offered, the congestion set in and the performance decreases sharply. Let's see the factors that causes congestion. First, the input traffic rates exceeds the capacity of the output lines. Example, suddenly a stream of a packet starts arriving on a three or four input lines and, uh, and all need the same output lines. In this case, a queue will be built up. Second, insufficient memory to hold all the packets. Because of this, the packet will be lost. Third, bus traffic. Fourth, congestion in the sub subnet can occur if the processors are slow. Slow speed CPUs at routers will be performed. The routing tasks such as queuing buffers, updating tables slowly. As a result of this, queues are built up even though there is a exceeds line capacity. Next, we will start what is the congestion control. Congestion control is the technique and a mechanism which can either prevent congestion from happening or remove congestion after it has taken place. Congestion control mechanisms are divided into two categories. First, one category prevents the congestion from the happening and the other category moves congestion after it taken place. Now, let us see what are the techniques we can use to congestion control so basic principle congestion control refers to the mechanism and the technique used to control the congestion keep in the traffic below the capacity of the network that that is the basic objective of the congestion control congestion control techniques basically categorized into two types One is the open loop congestion control and another is a closed loop congestion control. In open loop congestion control, policies are used to prevent the congestion before it happens. Open loop congestion control is further divided into two. First is based on the source and the second is based on the destination. That means who does the control. It can be done by the source or the destination. On the other hand, closed loop co congestion control mechanism tries to move congestion after it happens. It is like some kind of the feedback. Then let's move towards the congestion control algorithms. First one is the Lucky Bucket algorithm and second one is the Token Bucket algorithm. First, we will see Lucky Bucket algorithm first. Consider a bucket with a small hole at the bottom. Whatever may be the rate of the water pouring into the bucket, the rate which water comes out from the that small hole is the constant. This in our is depicted in the figure first. Once the bucket is full, the additional water entering is splits over the sides and it lost. The same idea of the leaky bucket can be applied to packets as shown in the figure second. Conceptually, each network interface contains a leaky bucket and the following steps are performed. 
when the host has to send a packet the packet is thrown into the bucket the bucket leaks at a constant rate meaning the network interface transmit packets at a constant rate bus traffic is converted converted to a uniform traffic by a leaky bucket in practice the bucket is a finite queue that outputs at a finite rate this arrangement can be simula simulated in the operating system or can be built into a hardware implementation of this algorithm is easy and constant of the finite queue whatever the packet arrives if there is a room in a queue it is queued up and if there is a no room then the packet will be discarded let's see token bucket token bucket algorithm the leaky bucket algorithm described as before enforces a rigid pattern at the output stream Irri irrespective of the pattern of the input for many applications it is better to allow the output to speed up somewhat when a larger bus arrives than to lose the data token bucket algorithm provides such a solution in this algorithm leaky bucket holds token generated at a regular interval main steps of this algorithm are described following in regular intervals tokens are thrown into the bucket the bucket has a maximum capacity if there is a ready packet the token is moved from the bucket and packet is sent if there is a no token in the bucket means it is empty the packet cannot be sent the figure shows the two scenarios before and after token presence in the bucket has been consumed in the first figure the bucket holds the two tokens and the three packets are waiting to be sent out of the center slot in the second figure two packet two pack two packets have been sent out of the consuming two tokens and the one packet is still left the token bucket algorithm is less restrictive than the leaky bucket algorithm in the sense that it allows the bus to traffic however the limit of the bus is restricted by the number of the tokens available in the bucket at the particular inst instance of the time some prevention policies of congestion controls are first one retransmission policy window policy acknowledgement policy discarding policy and admission policy